Ryan, I'm so excited Hello. to see you. How's Seattle? Uh, actually in Spokane now, but it's oh, good. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the Northwest, okay? Yeah. I'm in the Northeast, one of those. How's Spokane? Very, very pretty right now, actually. First mm -hmm. couple days in the 80s, finally. We've had a lot of rain. Wow, wow, wow. It's warmer than Seattle, right? Because you're in Typically, land. yeah. Yeah, we, we usually get warmer, a little less rain. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, more a lot more sun usually. <laughs> How? everybody we're so glad you're here type in where you are i love to see that in the chat make sure you have it set to everyone the blue thing at the bottom of the chat bar not just host and panelists so we oh, can see. i see elizabeth is actually from seattle so she <laughs> she knows what's up we've got yerushalayim clifton park minneapolis new lennox Illinois, Germany, Minnesota, Ecuador, oh, the Black Hills of South Dakota. That just Whoa. is like conjures, you know? Yeah, I like, wow. Want to illustrate that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, Pennsylvania. I'm from Pennsylvania. Guess how many states I've been in, Brian? Because I was a like lived in. Across. No, drove through or drove lived through or lived in. I'm gonna go 35. 49. What? Everyone, Whoa. every state but North Dakota. Really? Yep. That's crazy. I was a crazy hippie. <laughs> had fun, That's though. so fun. Traveled. There was no internet. There was no nothing. So you had to get out to be exposed to things. Wow. Did you have like one of those like old school paper maps and like just figure yeah. it out that way? or? Oh, yeah. You'd go to AAA. We will get to Brian in a minute, but... This is my turn. So, um, and we'll look at his gorgeous work and we're going to ask him how he went from full time to being rep by Lilla Rogers Studio. Um, so you would go to the AAA store or whatever. Does anybody mm -hmm. know what AAA is anymore? And they would, you'd wait and, and then you'd say where you're going, going from San Francisco to um, Boston or something. And they would print out these get these not print out no printing out pull the maps out from the cubbies stack them and take a highlighter and highlight every page whoa that there's something kind of exciting about that like i i love I like, the yeah i was like an explorer you know i yeah. thought like it's about a car and you know yeah, having your phone just tell you where to go takes a, a, a wee bit of the fun out of it. I, <laughs> no, but it changed my life. I love it. I love I love that. Okay, so wait, are you here to, um, did you all come to watch to hear me talk about my trip or, oh yeah, I want you to meet Brian. Brian is so wonderful, so fun. You are going to have such fun today. Let me introduce him. So Brian Lambert is an illustrator living in Washington State where he is constantly inspired by the natural beauty around him, which you can see in his illustrations for sure. He worked for many years in the animation industry doing commercial illustration and design work for companies like Portland Timbers, Fin Twist and Pitney Bowes. Was that like full-time jobs or freelance? Uh, yeah, it was still freelance, uh, oh. but yeah, we did it. It was like probably, I don't know, there was a couple of really big ones for Portland. Uh, mm -hmm. And yeah, so that, that was like probably a whole year of work basically. Wow, uh, but it was, so you were, it wasn't like nine to five corporate, but it was freelance for corporate. Yeah, it was, yeah. Okay, um, so at the beginning of 2021, which was only a year and a half ago, he realized he wanted to make a shift from his career and chase his dream of becoming a children's book illustrator how many of you relate to that? Type in me. Um, <laughs> while researching how in the world people did this, I'm happy to hear, he came across an ad for the Make Art That Sells courses. After a solid year of making a lot of art, this eventually led him to being repped by Lilla Rogers Studio, my agency, and getting his <laughs> first two book illustration jobs. And we could not be happier to rep him and have him do his beautiful work. Good, good. So everybody wants to know how the heck 
did a you have the guts to do it what made you want to go to be repped and be a full-time illustrator Talk, speak to that for a moment yeah uh so I, I guess a lot of the guts i i owe a lot to my wife in that she was very supportive like because like we had kind of been talking and i was kind of feeling unfulfilled you know like doing because a lot of the commercial stuff they always want that like there's that like corporate illustrator style mm -hmm. um and you kind of have to make everything look like that uh, to an extent, but they give you a little leeway here and Almost there. But uh, did they and did they give you like a color palette and? Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, the most most of the companies, not always, but a lot of them would have like they'd send you a little thing of like five colors, and it's like make everything with these, you know, <laughs> like so like there there's a couple of illustrations where it's like. Like they are crazy looking because of the colors of their like corporation. It was just like, wow, like let me guess. Yeah. Let me no. guess the colors. Navy. Oh yeah. Bright red or or bright red. No pink, no purple, bright oh, no. yellow, green, and brown. How'd I do? Yeah. 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 You I mean you there's always a combination of those ones. <laughs> it's like yeah, nailed it nailed it 100 yeah. percent yeah so it, it was just a little unfulfilling like i mean i liked the work but it was mm -hmm. i mean i think for a long time i had kind of dreamed about like getting to illustrate books and all that kind of stuff you know and i like kind of half-heartedly tried to get into it a couple times before um but never I, I feel like never like a hundred percent, you know, like there, there's definitely a difference between going hundred percent and 20%. <laughs> and, and what, what did, was there something in particular that made you say, I, I'm done. I got to do this. I, 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 you know, I'm young. I got to make this happen. What was it? Well, I, it was actually because we, so with the, I mean, it's right in the middle of the pandemic, uh, and so we had actually decided to move to Spokane and in with my parents for a little while. Mm -hmm. um, and so it it allowed me to be like, all right, I don't have to bring in like all a bunch of money all the time. Like, Art? yeah, so like it, I, I was definitely very privileged in that regard where like I, we had a location where we could stay and I, we realized like this is the good this is an opportunity that I should not pass up like because like this could set me up in a situation where like I, I like have a career like that I really want yeah. and so yeah my wife was really supportive was like yeah do it like we are good like like she works and so like you know we had income uh and yeah and then I between my wife and my parents both all, all of them are just super supportive like they, they, I mean, they, I, I show them all my work as I'm making it ever, ever. They're always like, really like, yeah. Or, you know, they give me feedback. <laughs> so. That to me is the biggest advantage in life. Yeah. People Having... that love your work, love you, believe in you and people, if it's not your immediate family, make your own family. That's what I did. Definitely. Make your own people. And find the people that you're very supportive of, and they're very supportive of you. Yeah, but I actually. Love that you, yeah. So you made an excellent decision to move in. I mean, that was a choice that you made, and it was a yeah. good one. Yeah, it. I mean, I think we. I, I would definitely say it paid dividends for sure. <laughs> and so they must yeah. have loved it. They. Oh, my yeah. my son moved in during the pandemic, and I'm like. This is so great. I was so happy. I'm like, well, the pandemic is kind of working for me. Right. Yeah. 20s. And I'm like, I love it. Okay. So then you came across Make Art That Sells. Tell us about that and how the work, what you did. Yeah. You did. I, so I, the first one I took was the uh, editorial class. Mm. Um, and that was kind of just happenstance. It was like the one that, it was like going live in like two, three days when I found it. Okay. <laughs> it was like, oh, that, that was a good one for this. you. Yeah, I really one. loved that. Yeah, I remember you popped out. I'm like, where? 
where did this guy come from? Because it was like really good and really new. Like sometimes I have students who get better as they go. And so mm. you're used to them, but you, I do all the time. You student followers in the chat, you know, like somebody comes along and they're like, wow, that's really, okay. So you took editorial, which was really good for you because you just, we just focus on one manuscript over what is that three or four weeks yeah yeah so it's yeah kind of like working your way up through it um mm -hmm. did a lot like did some like spot sketches and stuff and right I, I actually credit that like my I don't know that I had like completely figured out my style and like how like how it is like I was going to work like on every illustration and like that class actually like solidified like in my mind of like all right this is how I make art this is how I draw and this is how I'm going to color things from now on like <laughs> like what what did it for, was it that the, the minis where I just had you draw little objects so yeah that was when it happened yeah that okay. I I had kind of been playing with the style and but then it really it just helped me to like figure out exactly how to do it I guess um and I, I had been, I think every artist goes through that thing of like, what is it my style? Like what, like what's unique about my voice? Like, is it like how I draw it, how I color it? Like, what is that thing, you know? Um, and I, I was finally able to like, just like settle in on it, which really helped. Like it just like not having to like figure that out before every illustration, like, how's this gonna look like? And now I just like know how it's gonna look. <laughs> how, and you know how, because you do sketch, you do roughs. Did oh, you, yeah. do you do little sketches of the objects first or go right to the rough or what do you, or both? Um, it depends on the thing uh, right now because I have like art directors, excuse me. Um, they kind of like dictate that a little bit, but yeah, like, so you get like a lot of like briefs that's so like a bunch of pictures and stuff of like all those things. And I usually kind of like just, go in on the sketch like I do the thumbnail thing you know where you like do like a super rough like teeny tiny sketch where it's just like horrible looking but you get the you figure out the kind of the composition and everything yeah. um and then I kind of start drawing from there uh I think because I've been drawing for so long at this point like there's not a whole lot of things that I haven't drawn at least once in the past and oh. so I'm kind of able to fall back on that of like Oh right, I know how to draw that. Like I've drawn it before, and so you know, you just kind of riffed on your past experience. <laughs> That's great. So from your other job, your job before being a full time free, uh, illustrator, you drew lots of different things. So you had that vocabulary. Visual yeah, vocabulary. fantastic. Yeah, and That's yeah, and then even just like I, I've started just kind of drawing while I watch TV too. You know, um, and that That's just great. allows you to draw other like random things without like thinking about it necessarily like there's something freeing about just doodling <laughs> oh it's so relaxing my mom who's um will be 99 in october she wow. um draws uh like with just paper and pencil or markers she watches all the new like msnbc and and cnn and she um <laughs> she she says perfect Lilla everybody's just sitting there like this and they don't move and she can oh, just do all the portraits I never yeah. thought about that that's brilliant isn't that great <laughs> that so is so smart from mom Jackie okay that's tips from Jackie okay so you took <laughs> editorial I think you did the trees communicating one yeah yeah so cool yeah okay. that yeah cool yeah really cool article <laughs> yeah it was really a good one because it's very visual I spend a lot of time picking the articles I love that mm. it's got to be visual it's got to be interesting it's got to be a little different it's got to be um help expand people's portfolios and because it's sort of it's naturey sciencey I knew people would like the nature as far yes. as nature thank you Lydia and but I thought that also it was a strong woman and also it's how 
trees actually support each other and communicate and exchange resources and plants underground. So nice. Um, and you can take it self-paced, by the way. But so worth you did it. That, worth it. And then what? Oh, and you know what Let's I love see. about that course? You remember how I gave like a list of things you're supposed to draw? But I yeah. didn't want to give like trees, scientists, cells, communication, you know, or something. So I throw in like giraffe, bathtub, sewing machine or something. I think I yeah, was... definitely the sewing machine. I remember the yeah. sewing machine. Well, I have it right over there. So I, <laughs> I'm, what can I put in sewing machine? I, want, I think I put in sewing machine a lot, but I like to throw people <laughs> off. Oh, and a cupcake. Thank you, Lydia. I throw them off yeah. the scent. The scent because I don't want you going right to the finish. You know, just draw yeah. a freaking little cup. Oh, and then something easy like a cup, right? Cause like, okay, I could draw a cup. You know, I like <laughs> everybody can draw a cup, right? Like when I was an yeah. illustrator and I needed to warm up, I would draw a cup. Like, I'm like, I can't oh. draw. I don't even know why they assigned me. I can't even draw anything. And, I don't know how I'll do it, you know, whiny. And then I'd like to start a cup and I drew cacti. Because mm. it's a little a cactus in a little vase. So a little square. And then a little like any old blah with spikes coming out <laughs> and out. Like, you can't F it up. So that oh, was yeah. confidence. Okay. I, I, yeah, I love drawing cactus. They're so fun. <laughs> well, great. You can't mess it up. Okay. So you take editorial, then what happens? And you did really well in um, the review or so. Yeah, that was exciting. I, yeah, it was, yeah, that pretty ecstatic about that. Yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> you tell your wife, honey, guess what? She goes, yeah. God. And then yeah, she, she was very excited for me. Like, uh, it, yeah, I was like, wow. <laughs> so that was really cool. Um, I'm trying to think, what was the next class I took? It was, must've been the, um it wasn't the toy one it was the one it was uh the oh maybe it was boot camp it might have been the boot camp okay we know about your camp. art yeah i think it was boot camp and then yeah because that was the one with the journals right oh um nancy salas says yes boot camp val says it was redrawing black history Maybe both. That redrawing Black History was the very last one I took right before uh, you signed. I got was able to sign with you. Wow. So yeah, I went. It went boot camp toy and then redrawing Black History. When did you do kid book illustrating? Children? I never did. What? I, yeah, I yeah. I'm just winging it. I don't. I don't know what I'm oh doing. Oh my god! Well, you know what? You should. We just ended it, but. You should, you get all the classes free now that you're with me. You knew yeah. that. Yeah, I, 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 go I, in, I, like just go in and like, at least you can listen to the audio or the reviews while you're working, you know. That's, I never thought of doing that. That's really smart. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of doing that. I think, you you know, it's always great. I had no idea. That's hilarious. That's going to be <laughs> helpful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, well, definitely would have been a good one to take before getting right. two books, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, before like having a full-time career as a children's book illustrator. Oops. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. you fake it till you make it, right? That's that's the whole idea. <laughs> you know, you're smart. You, you took enough courses to get like also to get the the drink the kool-aid of like do your warm-ups ease yes. in you know like it's all about kind of chilling right definitely yeah yeah do uh, yeah i think getting yourself in that space to be able to draw and create is so helpful like mm. it, how do you do that it, <laughs> how do you get yourself to sit down and work uh at this point, I mean, I'm able to sit down and work pretty easily at this point. It's just like, it's just a routine at this point. I, you get to a point where it's I, at nine o'clock, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing. <laughs> and so and you're excited to do it. And it's a routine. Yeah. Okay. But before you had it as a routine, I guess the class helped. I think, but still yeah, helped. having that class, like having that kind of expectation of creating something like in having people 
like whether or not they're actually expecting you to do it, uh, y- you have the feeling like they expect you to do it. And that for me was really helpful because it's like, all right, I got to get this done. Like there's a deadline. Like I love deadlines. Like deadlines really help. hundred <laughs> like, percent. Yeah. hundred like, percent. Having someone else have some expectation of you delivering that it 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 spurs you like it, it gets you moving it gets you going uh you you work quicker but you don't take as many like unnecessary breaks breaks yeah um, and yeah it's, I mean I'm I'm a fairly self motivated person but even I yeah. have a tendency to get distracted like oh what's happening on tiktok today <laughs> like, yeah exactly uh, well so when i f- wrote my first maths class in 2023 2013 yeah we're whoa, not in 2013 isn't that amazing so wow. i'm writing my first maths maths part a we just called it i think maths or something um mm-hmm. so i'd go work out and then go to the cafe and write every like tuesday and friday and for me, that was like, I had a deadline, but also I had it slotted. And yeah. I loved going to work out with my trainer. And I loved the energy I had after. And then I got to get a really nice cup of coffee and mm. do the work. So I'm writing this. I'm like, how are people? So on an online course, internet course how do people do that you know this is almost 10 years ago like how, yeah like what's an e course what like in call it like so i'm like how am i going to get them to freaking deliver and then i realized i need a deadline every week and then did we have reviews in that say yeah we did wow. and i remember how hard it was to narrow down we had 500 students in that first class. Yeah. Hi, Jan Whoa, Trevor, really? our director. Yeah. Man. And um, so we, so I'm like, that's what it is. I'm going to have, uh, they have to submit. They have a, a deadline, a gallery, and maybe get in the review. And the, the thing of the review, even though it's brutal and I hate that I can't pick everybody and it, I'm like, too <laughs> whatever, I know I'm a loser, but um it does make everybody try their best, right? You want to get in. Yeah, yeah. I, it may, I, I, I'm, a, I'm very competitive actually. And so I, I get a competitive nature even to it where it's like, good. when I like, I see people like putting out this like amazing art and it's like, oh, I got, I got to be that good. Like, I <laughs> I'll see you and raise you. I'm right? Confident. Yes. Yeah. So cool. And I'm sure every artist has that when you're like, you feel like, like you stumble on this like idea that you just are so excited about and it's like oh I, I gotta get this made like I, I cannot wait to like create this thing and like I feel like these classes do a good job of like kind of fostering that situation because you do get competitive and it's like I want to make the best thing possible yeah yeah I know and that competition is fantastic competition or competitiveness sometimes has a bad rap I mean, it, it, it's not like you're going to like destroy your enemies. It's not like that. Yeah. It's like you yeah. want to like ha- get in the game and push. It's wonderful. You know, yeah. I used to say, you know, I just like to be the best at whatever I do. That's all. Just like to yeah. be the best. Is that so wrong? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't need other people to lose. I just want to win. No. <laughs> I want everyone to win. Yeah. It's great. Everyone can win. Like my winning doesn't make other people lose. Like I want other agents to succeed. You know, I want mm-hmm. other illustrators to get agents or to get great jobs. It's like, it's all good. We can all win. It's yeah. yeah that's I, I, how the universe works in my opinion. I, I feel really like kind of blessed to like live in the time we do because like you're able to see so much art like from so many different periods on like I mean we're able to see stuff from like a thousand years ago like like up to the present like there's so much and it's all so amazing like like there's never been a time where you could be inspired by more than there is now it's so so easily accessible And I don't think, I mean, when I was an illustrator, it was before the internet, 80, mid eighties to 
mid nineties. And well, mm -hmm. the internet started in about what, when did it start? Nineties? Eighties, right? Or maybe ninety. I don't know. The internet. I, know. I remember uh, AOL. <laughs> and so you had to move to New York and there were really amazing illustrators and people had, I think the styles seemed more varied, maybe, maybe not, mm. but there weren't that many illustrators. And I, I want to say that maybe the work is even better than then. I don't know. I think there was amazing work then too, but not as much. Now there's like a jillion great artists. There's so much great work, which don't freak out. What it means is more more art is being bought on like, like it, look at this, for instance, these are by my artist fabric. Okay. Like it used to be just like little calico prints. Look what's, you know, there's just more art on everything, more art, better art. We are going to give this away by the way, at the end. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. I mean, there's just art on everything. Okay. Let's look at your gorgeous portfolio oh yeah screen and here we go so brian okay. how <laughs> did you how did you how do you get color how do you find color <laughs> so yeah so this one was like really fun because i actually uh took the color and so you had put a post of like your ceramics with like some color splotches and everything mm -hmm. and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to use those colors. And so that's actually where most of these come from. Uh, like the, the base colors come from that. And then, and then I kind of like take those and then kind of add a few more here in here and there, you know, like mm -hmm. I think uh, I, one of the best things I think maybe I ever did as an artist was actually like study photography like books about like lighting and like color in that regard because I think that really helps you understand like how to do lighting and like just how colors react with one another and it lets you like have a a, a nice understanding of color interactions I think well and I so, think up until I'm sorry oh no go for it sorry up until this point, I think you were using cool colors, mostly like blues and Definitely. gray. And this introduced a lot of warm colors and pastel softer and your bold colors. So I, I feel like yeah. that, that was really Yeah, cool. and we had actually kind of talked about that a little bit. And so mm -hmm. uh, it, it's another situation where, where like having people there to push you and make you like try new stuff and try and expand your like artistic knowledge i think is so valuable like like we can always do it ourselves but having someone oh. to kind of like hold you accountable almost like it's so helpful <laughs> really good. um yeah this is that's wonderful okay let's move to i mean this one was one of the reasons i took you on i just just <laughs> everything about it i found so compelling um, yeah, <laughs> this coming up from the grave. <laughs> the, story, the stylization of the trees and the look at these clouds, people. That is definitely cool. Um, the rendering of this character is really, really a good kid. I need to see a good kid. Why? Because if I'm going to take somebody on, I need them to get work for the agency's sake and for the artist's sake. So when I see a kid like this, the proportions are good. The face is good. The braids, the, the like specificity of the plaid skirt and the little socks and shoes. Um, it's in the hat. It's wonderful. The ghost, the wolf, this cat is too cute. So <laughs> much thought and information that he put in the pumpkins of different sizes, shapes and colors. The these, um, what are these feathery things called? I see what they're called, but you see them in a lot of fall stuff. And I was like, yeah, I want that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I love that. Okay. Yeah, what was this, for, Bri? What was that? What was this one for? Uh, so this was like kind of like a comeback illustration, I felt like, because I had hurt my wrist and I hadn't been able to draw for like, three months 
And then I finally got the go ahead, like, yeah, like go for it. And it was yes. Halloween was coming up and I was like, all right, like I, I want, I want the thing I make to be like awesome, you know, like, like almost to like prove to myself that I could still do it even, you know? <laughs> and so I just like really went for it. Like, and you really like, kind of it. like, yeah, took all the stuff I had learned from all the classes and um, I, yeah, like, I guess it, it kind of did solidify, like, this is like the style that I do everything in now, basically. And so, it, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. And I saw that in your work, because to be honest, I did need to see you do broader color range. I yeah. love the blues and grays, but it limits, you know, it limits and also warmer colors sell really well, because that's what people, you know, if you're going to buy something, um, not always, but it does help to have in your portfolio. Okay, talk to me about this. What was this for? Uh, this was actually for the little like prompt for, oh, what was it? I didn't actually end up being able to take the class really because um, I ended up getting both the book jobs at that time. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, talk about the book it, job. Oh, character boot camp, says Lydia. Yes, it was for character boot camp. Yeah, it was like the donut, like a character donut, but I was like, I really want to draw a squirrel. So I drew a squirrel. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Great. Okay. The famous uh, penguin. Great kid. The penguin. Yeah, yeah. These are the characters for a book I've written on that I still need to share with you, Laura. Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. And yeah. go on and, and click the link. I'm working with 11 artists from the residency and they're crushing oh, yeah. it. They're crushing I, yeah. it. I wanted to take that residency so bad. I, I yeah, I've just been so busy. <laughs> but, I'm sorry yeah. that we got you books. Okay, I'm sorry. So I know. Sorry. How could you do this to me? I, I don't. I mean, <laughs> I mean, and I'm selfish. So okay, yeah. no, that's great. There's, there's yeah. no time limit. You can do it anytime. Yeah, you'll you'll get. I I will send you stuff. Okay. I will send you stuff. Okay, you you book an appointment and then send me stuff like five days in advance and uh send Perfect. Um, um first i need to see the blobby so you go into that cl class my kid book pitch do you know that one the writing class yeah book. yeah i know yeah you get the blobby worksheet and you have to fill that out first you can oh, fill okay. that out and then do the storyboarding sheet where it's just really simple clumping out what goes where you're not writing it you're putting right what goes where and you can all hear this too by the way this is good for all of you and you can take the course in October and then oh thank you Tori and then what you're going to do once you have that because that's the what and where the biggest issue with illustrators is they just want to do these gorgeous scenes they picture it all in their head and the narrative the arc is like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then we have to go first this then this you know then this and you got to sell people on what the who the character is why we care about the character what and what their issue is what is the problem and you don't tell it you don't say i am always losing things you i mean you can say that but then you show maybe some vignettes of losing things and then but why that matters because something is coming up and you lost this and you forgot that and then bup, bup, and why then it, it all comes together for the denouement the like ay, 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 the ive the mess and then what happens is then what happens is then it's resolved so that's yeah. the formula. Uh, uh, Riley actually t turned me on to this book. Um, so it's all about like story structure and like oh. how to structure a story. Why don't I have that? Okay. Um, yeah. And yeah, I actually read this right before I wrote uh, oh, good. Okay. this and I think it really helped. I, I, I feel I felt really good about the, the, the writing, which is it's something I don't really do. Is I don't I don't really write, so yeah. Well, here, uh, it's called Save the Cat, Lydia. Save the so cat. Here's, here's the thing. We all, not everybody draws, you know that, but everyone yeah. writes, 
you write emails, you write, you know how to write words. <laughs> like you have this leg up. Illustrators can write. Um, they just, you know, we think, oh, like what is syntax? And you don't need to know any of that. Okay. Yeah. This is gorgeous. This oh, was for yeah. my uh, black redrawing black history with Tamisha. Mm -hmm. This yes. is so beautiful. Yeah, um, I had a blast with this. I yeah, I, I had this idea of the statue in my head and like I I kind of I knew that I wanted it to be like this interesting rainbow effect through the whole thing. Mm. And so that it kind of just I I it took me a while honestly to figure out how to make it look good. But uh yeah, it was like taking a lot of different colors and just kind of blending them together until it was like turned out into something like pretty you know what now i see what you mean about studying photography i mean you really like right people can you see like there's something about that lighting of the statue at the bottom and everywhere look at the the uh, this thing over here peacock um yeah. it's choosing really choosing a location like a direction of light is really helpful like you don't have to like make it like realistic but just like having highlights show up from that direction uh it just makes a piece look more believable sure so like sure. yeah and and having those tools allows you to stylize more because if you stylize too much it's like i don't even know what I'm, what this is a drawing of but if you have some of the tools like light and shadow like here you know you get the yeah thickness um here's my advice too i really like this lettering I would do the ammonia, uh, Edmonia Lewis, excuse me, in that style instead of the- Oh yeah, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I've actually, <laughs> the, the, the little, uh, I've been trying to actually get better at lettering because that is a part I have a hard time with. Um, I actually used a TikTok tutorial <laughs> like to make the lettering on the uh, little post I just did for this um webinar <laughs> great whatever works yeah. lettering a lot of fun. You know, we you can letter um pauline i don't know like maybe click escape or it's it's hidden somewhere okay i can't see oh shoot okay the famous tiger journal yeah colors. <laughs> here you really crush the colors i mean they're just yeah. yummy this I, this magenta plum violet ultra is yeah. just really rich because you go a little darker and then get lighter it's like velvet you know how velvet has a nap it changes yeah yeah got that like kind of shimmers almost mm -hmm. um yeah i love it when you can manage to get like a color to do that like sh kind mm -hmm. of shimmery nature to it where it's like you have all that like texture and everything uh i the, the magenta next to that yellow is like one of my favorite color like pairing I, there's just something really See my ears? to me about it oh yeah you're right oh my they gosh. match you they match your heart <laughs> that's oh. amazing okay this lettering how that what's that from um yeah so i i mean i took i i took the picture put it into photoshop or maybe it was illustrator and then i did like the i, I made the type there and then I took that back into Procreate and traced the lettering so that it had like this yes. texturing and everything. <laughs> I love yeah. it. And I love that it looks a little hand drawn and I you could even do a little more hand drawnishness with that. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I love look what he does too. So he's got this kind of ephemera look. But then he's got this thing and these wiggles, but the squiggles change color and the line like there's he doesn't just say, OK, I'm going to do this circle 10 times. It, he changes the size. It's not filled in here. It's repeated here, but just once, you know, there's just a lot of variety and some things only once. It's beautiful. Yeah. And also one thing I do. So those two little circles like they're similar, but I actually redrew it each time. So there is slightly like a little bit of difference between each circle too. Like just oh. like taking that extra yeah, moment to, yeah. You like what I did? I'm 12 yeah. years old. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. 
Wow. That's beautiful too, right? Yeah. I got lucky because I had, had all the layers and I didn't mush them together. <laughs> it made it easy to we're change gonna the colors. About, we're going to talk about brushes too. Okay. Then there's this. Like, wait, what? This is <laughs> like uh, a different, not a different look, but like um, an extension of your look. And I was really happy to see it. It's very contemporary. It's always great to have people. Always great. Yeah. I would also recommend you do um, people in scenes of all ages. I mean, you yeah, that's that. a good idea. I like the, I two, know. the two people kissing. I don't know if they're two men and that's cool. You don't have to know if this is a man. Yeah, I kind of purposely left it like yeah. you. Yeah, like Fluid. it's whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. <laughs> Love her hair. Okay. Yeah, that was actually it's the the your color blobbies. I that was like my take on it. Oh, <laughs> nice. That, that works, doesn't it? Okay. This was great. Just, this was for the toy class, right? Or it was for the boot camp, but it it was like the lead in to the like the first I think toy, oh, cool. uh, and cool. it actually made me take the toy one because I was I had so much fun doing it. I was yeah. like, wow, I really want to do it again. Yeah, you got to work with Riley. You have been, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, Riley. I, I love Riley. He's, I love Riley. he's just the best. <laughs> I know. So, by the way, any artist that I represent can work with Riley on toy and game development. So that's yeah, yeah. We have a we have a game in that we've been developing, uh, and I haven't had time to work on it for like a month now. But yeah, it, I, I love working with him. He he's just he he's so full of energy and ideas, and like he 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 gets you to like build on your ideas, and like uh -huh. it, uh, it's so fun riffing with him about like stuff. That's why love I it. said, right, we got to do a toy class together, and you're teaching it with me yeah he love him this is so so beautiful one of your best okay <laughs> thank you boot camp graphic novel this is like a trivia game we should do oh my god we should do that we should have a newsletter or something where we show the different work and people have to guess what assignment but we'll oh, have one like from like five years ago to like a like a really tough one yes that would that is a lot of fun i love Wouldn't that, that idea fun? Oh, yeah. oh lydia loves the sure. bingo card in the recent email thank you lydia yeah i made that the newsletter today i made that a few years ago because it's like i need people to see you don't have to fill out the whole the, so who got the bingo card today in the new matt's newsletter i guess you all did because <laughs> you came you, you, oh, yeah. well. You're all on Matt's, right? Okay, Matt's newsletter. So I needed people to understand that you can't just draw like still lifes. Don't forget, this is a few years ago. I think everybody now knows diversification. So like, do you have wildlife? Do you have kids? Do you have scenes? You know, uh, and all that. So that's why I made it. This I love. Yeah. Talk to me about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was like, I think it was, you gave us this character and we were to redraw them, like kind of with like the things that symbolized them and like, kind of like try and tell a story. I think like, that was what the idea was. I think it was like, was this right people? Um, where I give you like the vintage oddities, like an old picture yeah, of a man yeah. and, and probably a dice, a die. I oh yeah, because I have this this little bus thing, and yeah, a book, yeah. There was the book on rocks and minerals, that vintage book. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah, I kind of had this idea that he's like the bad boy of Canasta, and <laughs> like that's a book. Oh yeah. my god, <laughs> like like this like slick like gambler type you know like it's <laughs> just like too cool for this world yeah yeah uh, 
it's, it's i so love this i want to see more like this this is so good this is a book cover this is adult book cover okay so oh, let's get you adult book covers i would i am into that that would be a blast <laughs> do more people or yeah scenes just you know google like top book covers yeah is I'm, I'm gonna do that because yeah, this, I I loved doing this piece. Like it was so fun and Dude, just like, I'm yeah, I had a blast. <laughs> what it, what is this? That's like a gem. Know? It's like this like uh, okay. bird's eye gem or something. I yeah, think that's what it's like called. Yeah, like I don't even care that I don't know what it is because it's just it's like provocative. Look at this with the rules crossed out. Does that say everything? <laughs> He's such a bad boy. <laughs> oh my god! I may be doing another graphic novel in the boot camp that starts in August. I may, and I can't oh. wait to gather <laughs> this oh. stuff for it. Because well, well, uh, yes, ma'am, sir. Look at this. Look at this book that I have yes and it's like all about making comics and it is amazing and oh like actually it has this it has this one page that i've actually been using Wait, for the children's book here. okay oh and it's, wow. it's all about page flow and everything and like how your eye tracks through pages oh will you flip um, flip through a few pages is it all like graphic novel style <gasps> yeah the whole it's oh, all a graphic it? novel yeah okay. and it teaches you how to make it okay well now i'm buying two books what's this one called <laughs> it's called making comics by is scott it, mcleod is it recent or like kind of old-fashioned it's kind of old i wonder let me look when it was actually published but i've had it a long time 2006. oh yeah okay but i actually have been using it a lot for the children's book because like just like that understanding of how your eye tracks through a page um you're like yeah. you know it, it it's really helpful <laughs> you know what i love about you is you grow and you know how to grow and how to find resources it's really it's, isn't that impressive everybody okay. <laughs> everybody get off amazon please excuse me we're having a webinar <laughs> yeah, come back to us <laughs> oh, no. i know leave a few copies for me <laughs> okay this was the one about the trees communicating yeah That's this was not, so fun yeah tell us about that yeah i mean yeah so i the the brief or the i guess it was like an article not so much a brief but uh it was just really fascinating like i had no idea that trees communicate with one another by like sending everything and yeah. uh yeah so i just it was like kind of like brainstorming how to do that you know and like uh kind of had like you know how like when you lift a rock and there's all these bugs under there and everything yes. like that was kind of the idea but it was like all right she's like lifting it and like seeing instead of bugs like this like information network and like uh i guess they, they actually like send a bunch of different like molecules and sure. stuff yeah. to each other yeah. and so like yeah like when i was looking at like different uh like you know those like old like they, they always had those like molecular models from like high school and college and so that was kind of where i based these off of because they're always those those colored balls those wooden balls yeah and they're like yeah yeah so yeah so that's what i like that was kind of the idea behind it and then like kind of just making it graphical um mm -hmm. using because like i've you know I've, I've done graphic design a lot longer than i've done like illustration so like i kind of draw on that experience and it's like so good well because look you've got this horizontal you've divided it like two thirds one third so here's this section here's this section strong horizon but look by her cutting through it she pops it creates energy it's like this is very is more static in a good way you, you know like boom boom and then she breaks through um, yeah, and I tried to do like slightly triangular. So like there's like a slight triangle coming from the top down. So like if your eye does start at the top, it hopefully brings you down to, to her. Instantly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And look at these mushrooms. Like he didn't just 
I love that he, people don't often do this kind turkey. What are they called? My husband would know. He, uh, yeah, I actually just drew a bunch more of those for the, one of the books yeah. I'm doing. <laughs> I love how the, the, the viewers know everything. Just so cool. Okay. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Are you all having fun in the chat? I am. You can tell. Brian's <laughs> so fun to be with. Um, love her. Love her. Oh, yeah love her okay this, yeah this was a lot of fun i i loved doing this one um i mean i actually oh this illustration i owe a lot to my wife too like she really helped me um because i i was really struggling with the background actually on this one uh mm -hmm. like trying to figure out like how to make her pop correctly but not like like it i was I was really struggling, like keeping her prominent in the picture. So your eye goes to her first, mm -hmm. uh, rather than anything else. Like, and so I'm not sure I totally cracked that nut, but you did. The, you totally like, pulled it off. I'm glad that it's just very calming and pale in the background. Yeah. But so yeah, yeah, you cracked that nut. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 from the very beginning, I had this idea of her, like she was like in this tranquil, like water, you know, like rising up out of it as it were. And like from that, like all these plants like circling up around her. Mm -hmm. um, and then it, it kind of turned out, I was like, oh, I could use her dress to be all the plants. Um, uh -huh. And then, then it kind of just kind of started falling together from there. But yeah, like I had actually, I had finished her and I could not figure out that background. I was like trying so many things. And my wife was trying to like, like you, you don't need to make the background like something truly like epic or special. Like, you, yes. like she is, she's the subject. And, oh. the, and that was, and it was like, ah, oh, you're right. Like, oh my gosh, you're so right. And then we just oh, like tried a couple of colors and we fell on this. Well, it's also very confident too. It's not like I have to throw everything into hopefully people will like something of the picture, you know, how we right. do uh, that. This is very confident and powerful, very powerful. She's like such a strong black woman. I love that. Um, my question is, oh, what does your wife do? Is she in the arts? No, she she's a therapist actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. that's the best. That's so good. Okay. Um, it's, so this, did you just do it for personal, a personal piece or was it for class? This was for one of the classes. Was it boot camp? Might've been boot camp. Someone will know. People in the <laughs> chat, what was this for? <laughs> they know everything. I couldn't do it without Yeah, that. it was, yeah, oh, boot camp. Viola Davis. Was that, that wasn't character boot camp. That was my thing. Did I yeah, have it was just the, Davis? I don't remember. Oh, that was like a year ago. I know it all starts to blur together. It's, it does. It's, I imagine for you it's even more difficult because you do way more. Oh, it was a warm-up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is that, that what it was? Sense. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm teaching illustrating children's books right now. Just finished a Zoom on Monday for boot camp. I'm writing another course and then i'm writing oh, cool. a brand new course soon so i'm crazy and i'm reading all my artists stories but i like it that way <laughs> I like it that way that's how i roll i like to you know be active this is such a good cover this is so strong i can barely <laughs> oh or card yeah this is great yeah it, yeah it, it's a card but we can make it a book cover too well i'm down i'm down <laughs> yeah. So you sent it to Susan, you sent it to all of us, right? We have this? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Because they'll submit it for card. Sneak yeah. all of new class. Oh, Missy, do I want to tell you? Do I? But we'll see. Oh, yeah. Yoga. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that, that was fun. Beautiful map. <laughs> I'm going to move along because we want to do the giveaway. I know we, yeah, we're and out then of time the here. famous cat two cats, which Riley went nuts. The cat two cats, yeah, yeah, the class. <laughs> yeah, he just loved it. He's like, we got to talk about taking on Brian. So this is really fun. Beautiful car. 
really great yeah you know this is very like more graphic design and more like analytical but i i think that's so good to have in your portfolio too it's different ocean yeah. Child. what a cool cool game man wow. yeah I, I'd okay like to have it. this <laughs> also i'm like i love so first of all this is really such a nice deco-y touch so Thank nice you. and then just you know you know what you're doing here the long shot medium shot the close-up skinny Thanks to this. <laughs> okay, I'm buying it. I'm country on tuesday with my kids and there's no internet so oh I'm yeah those two books man this yeah is they're for, good this was for boot camp yeah and, oh yeah editorial right mm -hmm. yeah i think this was the very first thing i ever submitted to your classes Ooh. fairly certain <laughs> you can see it's earlier work i mean you yeah own. but you know like this texture how the green and blue is just really like i look at this and go okay i like where he's going you know i want to see, and here i want to see more and more you gave yeah yeah that was me just trying to figure out like all right this is kind of working like i think i can make this into something like <laughs> yeah you do one part that you love and you're like oh i'm blowing that out in the next piece like that yeah 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 that's what i love i always feel like um i was a scientist as an illustrator like uh i would do something cool and i'm like i want to explore that further i want to like do that yeah. next and that kept me motivated to go on Okay, that was wonderful. Will you tell us what Procreate brushes you use if you care? Yeah, I can. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, hold on my iPad. Well, so, yeah, so I use a brush from maxpacks.com, M A X P A C K F, um, and it's the 9B pencil. Let's see. Oh, wow. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah, isn't that fun to see his working space? Max so you also Max notice that there's like a bunch of different, like there, there's the bunch of the 9B that I've like, I take them and I like change them slightly. So like I get like the same uh, texture and everything, but like they're mm. for different stuff, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. So like I tend to, to have one that like lays down more color so that I don't have to press so hard to like make the like harder shapes, you know? Yeah. Um, and then uh, Bardot, and then the other, my other one I use is from Bardotbrush.com. Yeah. Um, and it's just the Bardot pencil that I use, which is part of their pencil pack. And that's, yeah. And then the first, the, the first one from Max Pack is just the essential pack, which I, it's like five bucks. It's like the best $5 I've ever spent in my life. <laughs> Incredible. That's great. Okay. So everybody, it is time for the giveaway. And this is what we will send you. This is fully illustrated by Sarah Papworth. And it is incredible. So pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And such an important book. Um, 50 LGBTQ plus people who made history. How great is that? Um, that that's such a fun, like coffee table book. Like, yeah. is, oh, so it looks beautiful. so pretty. <laughs> Lydia said chartreuse. <laughs> What's that? Lydia said chartreuse. Yeah, look at this. Um, James Baldwin. She just, it's amazing. Her different color palettes, her different stories every freaking time. Wow. So good. Okay. <laughs> so, HarperCollins Children's. Nice. Good job. So, we asked Brian for a category. We're going to say the category. You can guess as many times as you want, and you can, um, and then we will pick the first one that we see. It might not be the first one, but Kim in the background and I and Brian will be looking for the correct answer. 
Does everybody got it? Type okay if you got it. You get what you get and you don't get upset. If we maybe you said it first, but we didn't see it. We apologize. That's how it goes. Thank you. Okay. The category is animal. An animal. An animal that he likes. Animal Brian likes. Oh, they're guessing all your animals. That's good. Not yet. I'm surprised no one. Oh, oh, oh it's I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw. Kathy Malloy. I got Kathy Malloy. Okay, all right, that's great. Kathy Malloy, boom. Okay, you can, you can email me Kim K I M at LillaRogers.com, and we'll organize to get that sent out to you. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. and allow a few weeks for us to mail Hi. and where do you live Kathy Malloy what country or city or state or planet Metro Detroit oh good it's not international Patty will be happy <laughs> okay. thank goodness <laughs> wonderful congrats Brian this was so wonderful so yeah, I loved it. So thrilled about your books. We didn't even talk about how you attack doing children's books. Maybe we'll do another one. We can talk about how you get that done and how yeah. great it is and how you love it. And uh, but it was just really great to dive deep into your portfolio. Yeah, this was this has been a lot of fun. It's always a joy talking with you. It's so great. So let's see. Um, and if you want to know, go to Make Art That Sells, of course, to sign up for any classes and i'm supposed to tell you that you can sign up for my toy pitch now it is static hybrid so there will be a live review at the end but it's self-paced so you can bip around bop around do it at your own pace and then i think in like july or august there'll be a review that riley and i'll do and um Riley's going to randomly pick somebody and you get a full hour with Riley to show your, to talk about your ideas or show what you've done. Anything that is like amazing. Dang, that's like a million dollar prize right there. That's a million, that, it cannot be bought. Although he should do it. He should consult that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he should. <laughs> okay. And then um, uh, sign up for assignment boot camp my class august one you will not regret it the assignments are my best yet and there may <laughs> or may not be graphic novel in there again everybody's favorite and um the the first assignment is going to be really really good for your career and really broaden you the second one also great and it is using your art and your voice to have impact that's a little sneak so i'm excited <laughs> and you'll see something i did for something a visual a few years ago and it like went a little bit viral on social and did Ooh. end up on the stage somewhere so you read about that it's not tantalizing <laughs> i'm intrigued yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody. This was wonderful. I really enjoyed talking to you, Brian. I know everybody loved hearing all your great insights and your books. I'm going to Amazon right now. And yeah. that's great, everybody. And you see, he just stayed focused. He surrounded himself by people who were supportive. And he kept working and he figured out what he needed to know and used books for support <laughs> or brushes and the courses and everything that made it uh, that made him grow and and now he is an agent Lila Rogers I've heard of her she's uh, she's okay yeah she's good, I guess. <laughs> pretty good pretty good you know whatever <laughs> and now he's busy so there you go there will be a Very replay busy. Missy yes um Kim when does the replay go up maybe tomorrow um yeah I'll try to get it up this afternoon but by tomorrow at the latest you know do we put a link for the replay in a newsletter 
Uh, we don't normally do it in a newsletter. I usually put it on Instagram and then on our homepage. And then it's also available from the oh. blog section of our website. Wow. Isn't she amazing? <laughs> um, yeah. We can put it in a newsletter if you think. It's up to you. But this was so good. I want everybody to see it. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Brian. Have a great thank week. Thank you. Almost. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.